everyone. So last week, in case you uh, missed it or in case you showed up a little late, uh, it was brought to my attention that one of the problems or a couple of the problems from the Unit 8 homework was um, giving all of you some, some difficulty. So I wanted to go ahead and address that. Um, this was, again, Unit 8 with geometry for welders. And so we're dealing with angles. And this is the first question that is out of the textbook. So instead of just giving you all the answers, I'm going to walk you through it and pretty much show you how to find uh, the angles for each one of these different letters. And so I kind of have this in a program where I can draw. Uh, my drawing is not going to be the best, so just bear with me. So... First thing, let's go ahead and start with the easiest. Uh, we'll start with the easiest and then work our way to the harder ones. So first off, we have this straight line up and down, which is pretty much telling us that this is going to be 90 degrees on either side. And we have this big chunk right here, and we're being told that it's 72 degrees. And then it's asking us to find the letter B. So I'm just going to use red for the letter B. And we know that this is a given. This is 72 degrees. From here to here. All right. And we know that from this point to this point, we know that this is 90 degrees. Oops, I did not draw that right. Hold on, let me uh, let me do it again. There we go. So we know that this is 90 degrees because we have our our flat plane, which if we were to go from this side all the way to this side, it would be 180. And so this line that is going straight up and down, so perfectly uh, perpendicular with this horizontal line, that's 90 degrees. This is the right angle. So we know, again, 90 degrees. We have this portion of that 90 degrees is 72. So to find B, we have to subtract 72 from 90. So basically 90, and this isn't going to be very... Uh, very good. I'm doing this on my laptop, so you'll have to excuse me. So 90 minus 72. Give you a second to do that on your own. All right, so the answer is going to be 18. So that means B is 18 degrees. All right, now let me go ahead and erase this. Come on. All right, let's pick a different color. Let's go with, let's go with green. Okay, so the next one, uh, let's let's work with D. So D is probably uh, the next one up on being uh, the easiest, working to the hardest. All right, so again, we know that from this point to this point, this is going to be 90 degrees, okay? And we have a portion already given to us, 51. So, in order to find D, we have to subtract 51 from 90. Give you a little moment to do that math. Okay, so the answer is going to be 39. 
So that means D is going to be 39 degrees. Okay, now let me go ahead and get this erased. All right, next color, what should we go with? Uh, let's go with brown. All right, so what's the next one that we should do? Let's do A. Actually, I don't even know why we didn't do A in the beginning. A was probably the easiest one to get. Because if we look, it's basically asking us what is the, the number of degrees for this right angle. And we know that right angles are 90 degrees. So we should have known that A was 90. So that one was pretty simple. Now what color? Let's go with purple. All right, so the next one that we should do, let's see. Hmm, let's do E. So next one we're gonna do is E. So it's asking us out of this angle that has been given to us, which is 72, how much or, or what degrees would E comprise of this 72? So this is where it gets a little tricky. So we know that this is 72, right? And we know that this is 18. We know that uh, if we were to do something simple like say 72 minus 18, uh, actually, no, sorry, sorry, uh, go ahead and scratch that. I'm not sure where my mind was going with that. Disregard what I just said about 72 and 18. So 72, we can kind of say that this is a line that's dissecting 72 and a half, but we don't really know that for sure. There's nothing there that indicates that we're cutting it in half. If we were to say that this is cutting it in half, we could say that E is probably close to uh, 36. But if we guess 36, it could throw our other answers off. So let's not guess just yet, but let's go ahead and write off to the side that it's probably gonna be close mm -hmm. to 36. All right, so we have here, 76 all right and the reason why i bring up this 76 is because it incorporates a portion of this angle that is 72. so if we can figure out what this is i'm just going to give us a little asterisk if we can find out what number degrees would represent this section with the asterisk, then we can find out what degrees E represents. So if this right here is 76 degrees, in order to find the asterisk, we would take 76 and subtract 39 because we know what D is already. We did the math for D. D is 39. So if we subtract 39 from 76, what are we gonna get? I'll give you a couple moments to do the math. So you should have got 37, okay? So this, this asterisk is going to represent 37 degrees. Okay, so now, now we know what this portion is right here. So this, this entire angle that makes 72, we know that this portion is 37. So if we know that, now we can subtract 37 
from 72, and that's going to give us E. So let me go ahead and erase all of this. Okay. So 72 minus 37. Jeez, I'm kind of off today. There we go. All right, so what does that come out to? I'll give you give you a couple moments. Seventy two minus thirty seven, you should have got thirty five. And so E is going to be thirty five. And look at that. We said that it was going to be close to 36, and we got really close. It was 35. So if we were to actually have just guesstimated that this was 36, we would have gotten an incorrect answer for this portion right here. And we would be finding ourselves in a situation, you know, where obviously something is wrong. Because if this was 36, then that means this would be 36. And it would completely throw off the math from uh, D. And so we would probably be thinking we messed up somewhere, um, not even, not even uh, getting the thought that we could have messed up right here. So it's always good to do the math instead of just assuming. Another thing with assuming, you know what they say about, right? When you assume, I'm not going to say it here, but you probably know. All right, next color, what should we do? Hmm, let's do orange. All right, so now we need to find C. All right, so we need to find C. This one, uh, because we've done all the math for everything else, C um, becomes a little bit easier. We already have this given, 72. It was already given to us in the textbook. And by doing the math, we were able to figure out that D is 39. So all we have to do is add these two together. So 72 plus 39. Go ahead and do the math. You should have gotten 111 or 111, so that's going to be our answer for C. Go ahead and erase this now. All right, so let's go ahead and double check that we have everything. So we have A, which is 90. We have B, which is 18. C, which is 111. We have D, which is 39. And we have E, which is 35. So these are all the correct answers. Um, if, you, if you were able to obtain these answers through a different means or a different method, um, I'm not going to say that you're wrong because obviously you have the right answer. You probably just did it differently. If you have the wrong answers, that's fine. Um, this is why I made this short video so that way you can see how to do it. That way, when you get to part two, hopefully it makes that, that question a little bit easier to work through. If you're having issues with part two, please feel free to reach out to me and I can work on it with you and I'll show you how to come to the right answers. All right, so always remember, if you're ever unsure, if you have concerns or if you're a little confused about any assignments, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to walk you through it, okay? So I hope this helped and I will catch you next time.